Hey guys, I haven't done a video in a few days. We've taken a few days off. Uh, my daughter recently got married and we we went and uh, did a, uh, did a wedding thing uh, down at the coast for her. Uh, and the plan was to come home and to get the white Chevy done and out of here. Uh, I've got a car sitting here right now that has to go out so I can get it in and the uh, engine is sitting right here, ready to go in. Yeah, but I didn't expect 10 or 11 degrees uh, for a couple of days either. And as most of you know, that wreaks havoc on batteries and apparently for pretty much every vehicle sitting here, including this one. So I have batteries on chargers to try to move vehicles around so I can get the white truck back in here and try to get it knocked out uh, this week and gone. But I wanted to keep making some content. So while it's down, I'm gonna introduce you to a brand new project vehicle that will be coming shortly after this white truck is done and gone. Uh, first off, we're almost to the 500 subscribers. Remember when we get to 500 subscribers, I'm giving away a $100 uh, gift card to Summit Racing that you can use any way you want to. I'm just getting you a $100 gift card. You know what I'm saying? You do what you want to with it. Uh, but first let me, before I introduce you to a new project vehicle, I'm gonna tell you about why it's a two-fold build for me, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm building it and what it's for. Um, so there is going to be, and I'm not gonna release any details because they're not my details to release at the moment, but there is coming a budget build, and I'll release all the details as soon as there's details to be released. But there is coming a budget build off, basically. Um, it's a $3,000 budget build and uh the the gist of it is to build a vehicle with a three thousand dollar budget including the vehicle the all-in three thousand dollar budget and to build it mostly out of used stuff kind of thing um it, there's a whole lot of details to it but it's coming and all the details haven't been out yet i couldn't sit on it any longer I found a vehicle I wanted for something else, and I'm gonna lump the two projects together into this into one vehicle, and I needed to jump on it and get it. So I'll go into those details in a future video. Today is just about introducing you to the project. So that's reason number one that I went ahead and jumped on it because this is gonna be the basis for my $3,000 budget build. Uh, and I don't know how quick it'll be. We'll find out when we get to the track. But the second reason is I kind of want a shop truck. I've had several over the years and I've done different kinds of shop trucks, but uh, it's time for me to build a shop truck that best represents me. So it was time for me to build a shop truck. So I'm gonna use this $3,000 budget build as an excuse to build a shop truck. Uh, though it's kind of gonna go through phases. The first phase is gonna be the $3,000 budget build and put it together on a $3,000 budget all in. We're gonna carry the track. A uh, few of us uh, are, is gonna have some fun. Win or lose, we're gonna have a good time and I have a shop truck. After that race has happened, it will be something that will return to the channel again. And it's gonna be something that throughout the months, years, whatever, it'll be something that we can do a little upgrade here, a little upgrade there, a little upgrade here. Maybe we try a few little things to see if it works. You know, let's let's see what happens if we do this. Let's see what happens if we do this kind of thing. And it'll be like an ongoing project vehicle that I use as a shop truck and daily drive. So without further ado, let me introduce you to what I am going to be building and what is gonna, for this $3,000 budget challenge, what I am gonna be building for a shop truck and what is gonna be the next project that comes probably quickly after the white Chevy truck is gone. Now keep in mind, we are also building a gasser this winter and uh, well, I haven't started on that either. So let me introduce you to the next scoop of potatoes on my, on my plate. Yeah. Y'all ready for this? Are you? Let me get out of the way. 
There she is. That is a 1963 F100 short bed flavor. It's already been lowered five inches. She's in the weeds is what I'm saying. She's, she's like down there in the weeds. Yeah, lowered five inches already. That, that's gonna be our shop truck. And that is gonna be our budget build truck. Uh, when it's done, we're gonna carry her out with a $3,000 all-in budget and see what we can do with it. Uh, but it's, the light's going down out here. Let's see if we can take a look around her and kind of lay our peepers on her just a little bit and drink her in. Okay, you can see she's the 63 flavor. We know because, well, the grill and that's what it is. Um, she's been dropped five inches. Uh, it is sitting on some mismatched wheels right now. So I gotta do wheels and tires, but it's got some good, it's got some good stuff. Like I said, it's already been dropped, already been converted to disc brakes. It is a complete truck front to back. So it is complete. Uh, it's gonna make a, a good truck. And uh, I'm not gonna show you too much of it actually. This is all you're gonna get to see right now. So it's a complete truck. It's a 1963, again, as I say, F100 short bed. It, it's complete. Nine inch rear end under the back. You know, we got plenty of nine inch goodies laying around because all the times we've swapped around the, the rear gearing and axles and all in Legacy, we've got, I've got spools, I've got gears, I've got all kind of good stuff. It's used, so it fits what we're doing. Um, to go in the rear end, uh, y'all know I'm an FE guy, FE powered. We got some goodies to do to that. Uh, I already got disc brakes on the front. Interiors, interior. And what I'm saying is it is the perfect candidate for a budget build and a shop truck. So she's going to get lettered up on the doors and stuff. And it's going to be a legit uh, daily driver work truck. It's going to be a parts chaser is what I'm saying. Anytime we need to go to town to get parts, that's what we're going to use. Go to swap meets to take parts to swap meets. We're going to drive this. I've got some plans for her, some good plans for her. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. I really haven't got to build a vehicle for me the way I want to build one and uh, this one there's no rules the first stage of this build the only rule is the budget that actually affects anything I'm doing yes there's rules but none of them that affects anything I wouldn't do anyway so but the first stage is really just the budget after the first stage is over then there's absolutely no rules so let's talk about it for a minute uh, I'm not going to discuss numbers at this moment because I want to save all that for the budget build video because part of the rules for this budget build is that we lay out the the cost of everything so everybody keeps on the uh, up and up and uh, we we assure everybody that they stay in a $3,000 budget. But this is what I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Let me rephrase that. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to try to do. Uh, and we're going to try to do it in a $3,000 budget. First off, we've got the truck. That number counts into that budget. So we're staying FE powered. I, uh, I'm going to basically intake and cam on that, some headers, try to find used stuff to keep the old pocketbook way down, kind of, kind of down here. I just want you to kind of be able to see the pocketbook waving a little bit. Keep it, keep it down here is what I'm saying. Uh, we may have to go to some swap meets and some uh, antique stores and try to find us a couple of carburetors and and uh, bang on them with a screwdriver and a hammer and get them to working. But uh, did I say a couple of screw uh, carburetors? Did I say that? I must have said that out loud. Anyway, um, we uh, the plan is 
Right now, I'm probably not going to touch the suspension. Uh, as the truck sits, the truck has no fuel system. The truck's complete, but it doesn't have a fuel system, and it doesn't have working brakes at the moment. It has had a disc brake conversion, but the plumbing's not done, and the master cylinder's not there. So, big picture, big picture is take the vehicle, do a cam, intake and headers, probably about what we can afford to do to the motor and keep some of the budget left. It's probably about it. Uh, wheels and tires. It's honestly, to keep the budget down, it's probably gonna be one of those where we kinda just have to find some wheels I got laying around here. Uh, it's got some mismatched ones on it now. I'll probably keep the two front ones. Probably throw some bigger ones on the back and just have some mismatched wheels uh, for this first leg of the trip. Uh, Cause the reason I'm keeping all the budget down is because technically that truck has three pedals in it. And it's technically a three speed manual, but it sure would be cool if it had a four speed in it. So if we can keep the budget kind of hovering right here, I can find me a four speed and, you know, <laughs> the drowned in the budget then. But um, it's going to be one of them where I'm waiting to last to do the transmission because I'll be perfectly honest with you. I want a good shop truck that I can use the parts chase all the time. And if I have to sacrifice some time on the racetrack for this challenge, to keep a three and keep a three speed in it, then that's what has to happen. But I'm going to try to put a four speed in it. And that all depends on how much money I spend on these other parts. That's why I said the transmission is going to come last because it has a transmission in it. So push come to shove. I can make it work. It's in there work. Um, it's going to be a fun build. It's going to be something I'm going to enjoy because technically I've never built a vehicle for me the way I wanted it. My Galaxy is the closest thing, but technically it's kind of built somewhat to Southeast Gasser rules and somewhat to honor the original owner. What I'm saying is this car has to fit a certain set of rules that does not allow me to build certain things the way I would want to build them if I just had free reign is what I'm trying to say. Jesus. Um, But the truck, there really is no rules. I can just go through the truck and build it the way I want to build it. And the way I want the outcome to be is I want it to basically have the feel like it's 19, let's say it's 1978. And a, a young 18 to 25 year old guy uh, bought some garage's old shop truck and he's trying to make him a little bit of a hot rod out of it. And uh, we're going to kind of approach it in a 70s style build. Uh, you know, I'm going to kind of go with that feel to it. It's something that could have been built in the 70s by a guy that always liked those trucks but kind of wanted a hot rod, but all he could afford was somebody's old rundown shop truck. You, you kind of understand what I'm saying? That's kind of the feel we're going for. In a perfect world, uh, we're going to be racing eighth mile with that truck when we do the challenge. I believe it's eighth mile. Uh, when I do that challenge, in a perfect world, I'd like to see it run sevens. That's not a big demand number. Uh, I think that's entirely doable in a $3,000 budget. I think we can run sevens with it. I don't really care because it's going to be a fun build. But I'm rambling at this point. I wanted to introduce y'all to the new project that will be coming after the white truck is done. And uh, I'm not even, you know how I like to name all my stuff. And uh, I'm not even going to tell you the name right now. You're going to have to wait. You're going to have to stay tuned. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, follow along that we will get notifications when we start the truck. Uh, also, when we get to 500, we're giving away a hundred dollar Summit gift card. So, man, y'all stay tuned. Uh, 
stuff is going to get real good real quick. We're going to get this Chevy truck done and out of the way this week. Uh, after the Chevy truck is done and out of the way, uh, I'm not very sure at this second which will be the exact next thing that comes in. Uh, there is a <clears throat> we got a T bird. We need to do some exhaust work on, but we got to figure out when we shut it down to do that. <clears throat> uh, the shop truck needs to get done. Uh, I need to do some stuff on the Cougar. Uh, got to get the gasser in here and get it started. Uh, all that stuff needs to do, but the, probably right after the white truck, you will see the Ranchero next. Y'all stay tuned. God bless you. Hope the Lord blesses you today more than he did yesterday. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time.